Hello ladies and gents, I hope um, every single one of you is doing well. Reluctant Biker here, and no, we are not going to be talking about this river or fishing. I would like to talk to you guys about something that is long overdue, and that is that jewel right there. We are here in the presence of my tried and true Suzuki TU250X. I've been riding it for about a year now and uh, the more I ride it the more I have fallen in love with it and uh, I do kind of feel like I have done it a great injustice by not sharing with you some of the things some of the characteristics and aspects of this bike that I have come to simply love I really have so if you are interested in the Suzuki TU250X please stick around and we will get started I would like to start by giving you some context here. I am 5 feet 10, weigh about 170 pounds and have a 32 inch inseam. This bike was my first motorcycle, though not my first two-wheeler. Prior to switching to motorcycles, I rode Italian scooters for years, some of which were larger in displacement than the TU. The first thing I love about the TU is that it is easy to ride and operate. It's such a well-behaved, forgiving motorcycle. It's easy going. I don't think it has a bad bone in its body. Never yells, never screams, never loses its cool. It's always serene and positive. It's very tolerable in traffic. The red clutch helps immensely. It's easy to pull and the hand never tires in traffic. The TU is tuned for strong low end torque that's well suited for in-city riding. Additionally, shifting is relatively smooth. The gearbox is in constant communication with the rider and there is constant feedback so you're never at a loss um, in terms of which gear you're in. It's, uh, it's also lightweight, the bike is very agile and, uh, and the TU's lightweight is very manageable allowing one to maneuver and move the bike with extreme ease especially in tight places The second thing I love about the TU is its classic look. It looks vintage, retro, whatever word you want to use. It's just simply beautiful. Almost every time we go out, the TU gets complimented. Looking at it, one would think it is a close relation of the Bonneville, a sort of long lost cousin. Compared to some of the more modern retro bikes, the TU seems to me more stylish more perfectly symmetrical and well proportioned. Everything is attractively balanced, compact. It's so pleasing to the eye. To top it all, the materials on the bike are genuine good quality materials. 
shunning as much as possible the soulless plastic covers that have come to define and disfigure, in my opinion, some of the more modern bikes. For example, whenever I look at a bike, my eyes wander to the front fender and the fuel ta tank cap. If those two are of no good quality, I tend to lose interest in a bike. I say tend, not that in fact I do, depending on the overall quality and feel of the bike. The third thing I love about the bike is that it's practical. I have never felt the need to add saddlebags to it. By employing a simple motorcycle cargo net, I have been able to carry backpacks, groceries, camera equipment, etc. with ease. All thanks to the roomy two-piece seat and long body design. I should also point out that I've uh, never taken the TU on a long journey. Uh, that is, I've never gone touring with it, so that probably explains why it didn't add any saddlebags to it. But really for in-city riding and for uh, two to three hour commuting, you don't, I haven't felt the need to add um, any saddlebags to it. And I've done just fine. The fourth thing I love about the TU is that it's comfortable. <laughs> it's such a super comfortable seat. I, I really love the seat. Though it has a basic twin shock suspension, the bike is very comfortable. It handles potholes, cracks and other surface imperfections with ease. The low seat height, the TU symmetrical design and the weight which is distributed equally across the bike. All of these aspects allow one to balance and maneuver the bike with extreme ease and agility. I just have to again reiterate the fact that the seat is super comfortable. The fifth thing I love about the TU is that it is very affordable and economical. The insurance is relatively very cheap given that this is New York City and it gets the best ga gas mileage out there. I've never measured it but um, 70 mpgs easily. Uh, weeks go by and I really at times forget when was it the last time I, uh, I filled the tank up really uh, even though you know I, I might ride it every day it, it's, it's just it seems like the gas that the tank is bottomless <laughs> um, and of course it gets regular gas which is the cheapest gas and full disclosure I pay um, about 200 bucks a year for insurance and and that is full insurance I mean, that's very cheap, given that my insurance on the Vespa was about 300 something dollars. So I consider that cheap. $200, very cheap. And this is New York City. Did I mention that? The sixth thing I love about the TU, and this is really specific to my TU, is that I love its aftermarket exhaust. I am not a big fan of the stock exhaust. In my opinion, it has no personality and it brought no joy to me. The aftermarket exhaust, however, gave this bike a whole new personality. So every time I turn it on, my, my heart leaps with joy at its deep purring sound. I don't think I would be able to love this bike as much as I do if it didn't have that exhaust. And I'm not trying to sell anything. I don't want to sell anything. You get whatever aftermarket exhaust or enjoy the stock exhaust if that brings you joy. But in my case, I just, I don't think I would love this bike or would have ever kept this bike if it didn't have this particular aftermarket exhaust, which is made by this Japanese uh, company called Wellington, I believe. It's, it's, it's just so it brings me so much joy and it, it has a very peculiar personality it, it, it just uh, I, I love it uh, there's there are no words that capture my um, my, my joy at, at, at listening to it um, as I write uh, the TU
My seventh uh, thing I love about this, uh, this bike is its helmet lock. Now having ridden bikes, including large scooters without helmet locks, I find great comfort and joy in this little yet essential and greatly practical feature of the TU. My Guzzi, which costs twice as much as the TU, has all the latest technology, offers no such feature, forcing me to carry the helmet along every time I park it. Um, so I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in the, in the helmet lock. My Vespas had it and I love them for that. Um, my, uh, my other Piaggio, um, which is the, um, the BV350 or the Beverly as it's known in Europe, 350 that scooter also had a helmet lock and I just um, I don't know for in-city riding and whenever you go out you know grocery shopping or you stop for a coffee you really don't want to be carrying that helmet on top of everything else you might be carrying so yeah I love its helmet lock on that side so much room the guy wants to kill me lastly the eighth thing I love about the TU is that it is easy to maintain uh, lubing the chain changing the oil changing the oil filter uh, cleaning up the air filter which the manual Suzuki identifies it as air cleaner all of these things are effortless yes you have to have the right equipment uh, the right tools but I have found uh, all of these little um, maintenance um, tasks really really easy and, uh, and a joy In closing, fellow riders, these are the eight things I truly love about the TU250X. I might have mentioned more than eight things in there. I tried to categorize them into eight, but uh, do with them as you will. I just wanted to take a moment and really reflect on, um, on the things I love about this bike and share them with you especially given that I started when I purchased the bike I uh, listed like five things that I didn't like about the bike and people thought that I really hated this bike uh, when uh, the opposite is actually the case uh, I love the TU fellow riders thank you very much for stopping by and visiting the channel I hope that the information I shared in this video was a bit helpful if you have any questions comments observations any type of feedback really all of it is appreciated and not just by me but also by those who visit this channel in order to become a little bit more informed about this motorcycle and the art of motorcycling. Have a great day, be well and as always ride safely.